Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori's Plays Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch and we're at episode 20, I believe, so we're really getting into the game now. Um, in the last episode we kind of explored Kakariko Village, it was a little bit overwhelming with dialogue, not too much was happening um, with the story, there was just kind of a bunch of side quests and not too much was going on there, which was kind of surprising. Um, in Breath of the Wild, it is kind of a thriving point of the main story, uh, but not so much in Tears of the Kingdom yet. So we kind of carried on past Kakariko Village. We ended up following a dragon. You can just see the hole there. Uh, following a dragon down into the depths again. So I figured we could just explore here for a little while. I think there was... That might be... Oh, that's the dragon floating away now. Um... I, on our way down, we did see another light plant thing. Oh, there it is. Uh, so I figured we could make our way over there, illuminate some more of this underground area, and then head back to the surface and basically continue with the story, may, maybe head to another regional um, location. It's hard to... There's lots of rocks, pitch black rocks. Uh, so it's easy for things to get lost in here. Okay, we need to remember to light our way. Okay, we've got some more strange statues. Um... The dragon's obviously doing circles. The dragon knows where it's going. Uh, but we're basically just heading to this, which apparently, they line up with shrines on the surface, apparently. But we're going to go here, because then it illuminates part of the map. Ooh, looking creepy. Creepy patterns glowing. Uh, this is might be where we uh, have to be careful. Oops, it's so freaky that there's just, like, large rocks. Uh, oh, what's that? Is that a sword for us to take, or...? That's kind of creepy! What is that? That is so freaky and creepy! Just a random shadow offering up a sword. Okay, we're going to light this whole place up eventually. Okay, we won't spend too long down here because it is quite ominous and unsettling is the best word I can think to describe. So we have to avoid all the shadows and anything that looks like, like gloom. Um, if I concentrate, it's easier to see, but when it starts getting dark and there's lots of shadows, it's it kind of, it's hard to know what's a shadow and what's gloom for me. Um, but I think I've figured it out. Just have to make sure we're paying attention, because otherwise it's easy to kind of walk straight into it. Yeah. Ah, here we go. I don't actually know how we get to the surface. Do we just have to fast travel back, I guess? There's not a way of climbing back up, surely. But here we go. I think, yeah, apparently these are linked to the shrines on the surface. But either way, they will heal us and it will unlock a portion of the map, which is really cool. Kind of what we want to do while we're down here. But there's so much to explore, kind of know where to go. But we do want to get to another dungeon as well. Another temple, hopefully. I think what makes it also unsettling is that there's no background music. <laughs> or very little background music in here. So this should have opened up a whole new area. Whoa. The light route, that's it. I couldn't remember what it's called. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. And, okay, didn't heal us, but it's, I can't remember if our hearts were locked or not, but we've got full health now. 
Let's see. Oh, we're quite far away from where we were. Interesting. Hmm, I don't know what if we should do any more down here or or not. It's very creepy down here. Really, we only chased the dragon down here and to light up a bit more area. I think we'll head to the surface now. And the best way is to fast travel. I have no idea how to get back up properly. So I'm guessing this is the only way. Oh, we're actually quite far away from where we, we, we fell down here. Um, but let's, where can we fast travel to the easiest? Um, I guess it's going to be Kakariko Village, isn't it? We'll fast travel there. And then from there, I think we will head to another regional point in search of Princess Zelda, which I'm thinking it's just another temple or another dungeon um, that we can hopefully play through. I don't know if we're going to get there today because they are quite far away, but we'll try our best. We'll do some shrines. We'll head to the regional um, phenomena and try to find another shrine. There'll be lots of story stuff to do in between time, but let's see how we go. Whew, back on the surface. It's much more calmer up here in Hyrule, even at night time. Okay, we have some uh, music, background music finally. I don't know if my game was just glitching there or if there's just no music in the, uh, in the gloom at night time. We, we need one more shrine as well though, so now it's night time, we should probably keep our eyes open for any more shrines. I find them a lot harder to, um, locate or find than in Breath of the Wild. I felt like in Breath of the Wild, when we, we only played it recently, I felt like we were stumbling across shrines all the time. Maybe they're a bit more well hidden in uh, this game. Okay, let's have a quick look. There's some down there, but that would be heading... I suppose we can head that way. Okay, let's head over into the water over there. It's kind of a, like, is it a lake or like a swamp or something. But we can see one shrine there. But we don't want to go too close to the mountain. Because then I think we're heading away. Where's the mountain? The mountain, is that the mountain? Hmm. It's hard to know. We want to head more to the to the east, so more kind of this way. Don't know whether to stay in the mountains. Maybe we should just head for that tower instead. Open up a bit of the Hyrule map and then maybe we'll know where we are. I think that tower is probably in this region here. In fact, it's probably not far away from this regional point where we're trying to go to. So that's what we'll do. We have a plan. Sort of. We'll stick to it. <laughs> Some more glyphs. Oh, we can go and see Impa as well. Um, we... If we want to. Uh, so I think it was the glyphs near the Serene... Stable. We missed. <laughs> there we go. Our first uh, enemy of the day. Okay, we're getting a better idea of where we're heading. The mountain... It's all, it always just looks pretty scary, doesn't it? Aha! Okay, let's, we're gonna head over this way, I think. Up to that tower. That's where we're gonna try and get to. I don't know how easy it's gonna be. We'll probably pass lots of enemies. I expected to, oh, there's another tower over there. I expected to see more. 
Oh no. A linol, I think they're called Lionel. Very, very powerful creatures. Yeah, I expect to see more shrines. There's just nothing, is there? Uh oh. Oh, there's loads of them. Okay, we're going to be crossing the border shortly and then over there. Question is, will we be able to get over there? Maybe we should use Tulin. I've got to remember that we have this ability. Where's Tulin? Um, is it this? No. How do we call? There we go. Tulin, over here. Let's go. This should give us a boost. Oh, these mountains are going to be harder to climb than I thought. We do it while we're in the air. Oh, there we go. Oh no, why must it start to rain? Oh, it didn't. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're going to have enough uh, energy to get up here. Oh no, we didn't think this through and we have no stamina wheels left. Oh dear. Oh no, <laughs> if we go in the water, we're dead. Okay, whoo. Oh, is that Tulin coming back? Cool. Okay, whew, there we go. Inexperienced Zelda player right here. There's a little bit. There's another one of those flower. Um, Sky Islands up there. We still don't really know what they are for. We can't read the language yet. Okay, we're, we're going to get up there. Right, we can probably let dismiss Tulin. I wonder why we can't activate it from like a quick menu. Oh. Okay, I guess today we're gonna do a bit of exploring, which is what we like to do on this channel anyway, so we don't always need to 100% follow the, um, story because we don't mind just exploring anyway so but I think we will easily get to the tower no <laughs> yeah I'm starting to notice we need more stamina so I definitely think we're going to have to get a stamina wheel next time. We only need one shrine away, I believe. I think we only need... Yeah, we need one more Light of Blessing orb or crystal. And then we can get another stamina wheel. All right, that's not the tower we were going for, is it? Uh, or is, it, is that the one? Oh, it is the one. Okay, it's pretty high up, actually. Oh. We've got gloomy bits here as well. 
We won't disturb those. Right, we're gonna have to figure a, a good way of getting up there. If only there was a rock that had fallen down. I think we're just gonna have to Slowly just try and climb it. I can't see any other way of quickly getting up. I think I just saw a rock. Oh no. What's that? What was that? Huh. It's going to be a Coric potentially. <laughs> huh. We haven't got anything that's going to chop through this, I don't think. This hour. <laughs> hmm, not sure about that. It's definitely a Coric, but I wouldn't know, even know where to start. Right, is this dangerous water? No. Okay, might as well head downstream. I don't think. going to get very far, but... We'll see how far we can get. To be honest, I'm totally lost. <laughs> but we'll just... Have to keep kind of crawling up and seeing how far we can get. I can't really remember if we've been told to go to a specific place or not. Um, what's the best way up from here?
think hopefully we'll just make it up here. Maybe coming into the mountains wasn't the best idea when we haven't got full stamina. Maybe we should have gone to the desert or something instead. <laughs> but it's okay. We just have to have faith in ourselves. And hopefully we make it to somewhere a little bit important. There we go. I forgot what these splash fruit do. Um, a fruit that contains... Oh yeah, pressurized water cooking them into ability enhances swim speed. Oh yes. So it makes sense that we would see these around the rivers. Um, are we going to be able to get up here? I don't know. So I guess we're on for another kind of relaxing episode. This is why you could argue that Zelda is a uh, cozy game. I think we've just found our way up. <laughs> that rock just fell. Yeah, because you don't need to do the story. You can just walk around and not really accomplish anything. Give me your rupees. work how I had planned. I thought I had visions of taking all of them out. <laughs> okay, it's rocks falling all over the place on this little bit. It's good for us. I can't look at it. Is this lava or like gloom? Doomy gloom. There's a coric here. Oh my goodness. Um, these Koriks are getting harder and harder. Woohoo! There we go. We definitely have to make sure we're using our abilities accordingly. Uh, we've had to leave a couple of Koriks behind now. and Because of that. So I'm thinking that. The Coric with the plug, if that wasn't even a Coric, was probably because it was we needed an ability that we haven't used yet, maybe. Or we haven't obtained, I mean. I'm just going to go and collect these little water things. See, the gloom and lava and that is much easier to see outside for me. Especially in the daytime when there's not many shadows. most success we've had from one of those things. Oh, Tulin's Tulin's gonna fight as well. Okay, right. Let's get back to the rock. And where's the tower? Is it over there? No, that's not the one we were going for. Um, there's one over there. No, that's where we came from. Oh, there it is. I can just see the lights. Okay, just see the top of it there. That's where we're heading. Um, okay, I haven't played in a couple of days. I'm try I keep forgetting the uh, controls. Right, let's go. This should get us pretty high up um, the mountain fairly easily. There it is. There's the tower. Whoa. That is pretty high. Yeah, this is the Zora's domain. Where the, the Zora lives. Oh, 
Do you know what? Uh, we'll just put Tulin away. Sometimes he gets in the way. Oh no! Upland Zul Runner, Skyview Tower. We can't get in because of the lava. Hey, my gills. Oh no! You, you there, please help me. The sludge fell up upon me so suddenly. Uh, I could wash it away if only I had some water. Um, can we use these water balloon things? Nice. I, I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Baz, you you saved me. Thank you. Hey, shameful that you should happen. Uh, this should happen to me. Captain of the guards of Zora's domain. Unbelievable. After the upheaval, the f uh, the filth suddenly began falling from the sky. It slurried the waters around here in the Zora's domain. Everyone's at their wits' end because of it. This is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself. Uh, so you think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself? Oh, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a a gloopy sludgy kind of. You. Just thinking about it makes my scales bristle. Ugh, my gills still feel so unclean. If you had not sprayed me with water, uh, I shudder to think what would happen to me. Please take this Zora spear as a token of my thanks. I'm sorry it is not much. It's all I have. It's decayed uh, like all the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but, well, it's not unusable at least. Huh? Oh, you have t many weapons in your possession, it would seem. If you make room and return, I will... Gift you this Zora Spear. Okay, well now we know what we can do with these things. Nice! I would never have thought to do that. Never ever. Okay, here we go. At least we're achieving something today then. <laughs> Although we like to explore and take our time and just chill, I, I still like to reach little milestones so the episode is uh, has kind of a purpose, I guess. Here we go! <laughs> Wow, lots of sky islands here. Woo! Not high up enough to get those ones though. Oh, the weird sphere ball thing. Uh, surface map updated. There we go. We have the kind of the main Zora region now, which is good. And it looks like we need to go to the center of the Zora's domain to trigger the next part of the thing. It's going to be like the retail village where there was clouds and we have to do the story to kind of clear the clouds. It's going to be the same here to get rid of the sludge, I think. Um, and it will end up going to a temple, probably a water temple if it's uh, by the Zora. Okay, where can we go from here? Not many places. Another s star thing. I want to investigate. Can we get inside that? Oh, there's a shrine in here. Wow. This is trippy. <laughs> what? Actually, I think it's just the outside that's moving. That's weird. What a weird place to put a shrine. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see. We can just turn it off. Is it gonna turn? Is it gonna stop? Oh, that's weird. Oh look, the Zora's Domain's right down there, so we're going to be able to drop right in. Oh, it makes me feel sick being so high up. That is so weird. Okay, let's do the shrine first then, then we'll head to Zora's Domain. Oh, we're getting somewhere now! 
I still don't know what those flower things are. There was a kind of, in the last one we went to, it's kind of a, like a slab or like an inscription in like ancient Hyrulean or Hylian. And uh, we couldn't read it. A flying device. Oh, we're not very good at creating these flying devices, but we will give it our best shot. Okay, we need to get to the end over there. Ah, so... Whee! <laughs> Skateboards! Okay, there's a chest over there. I mean, are we just going to be able to fly to the end, pretty much, aren't we? I'm not entirely sure it's going to be worth trying to get the chest. <laughs> We'll give it one go. Okay then. Um Can we just vertically fly this thing? <laughs> no, nope, doesn't work. Okay, so how are we going to get that up there, then? Okay, this is an interesting one. They don't last very long, these things. Oh, we can go from here as well. There's quite a longer... Oh, I thought it was a ramp. That's tricky. I wonder what's in the... I wonder what's in there. We need to grab a skateboard. There we go. Woohoo! No! <laughs> we did so well! Okay, we're just going to have to wait for it. Wow, how did we, we must have got lucky the first time. As soon as it comes over, you need to move this way a little bit. Okay, my reaction time is too slow. Okay, the next one. Wow. I can't believe we're missing them. Oh no. I don't think there's a way to get back. Oh, we can probably get over there and climb up again if we want to.
I am not very good at this. I can't believe we, we messed the first one up. It's because I walked off the ledge. You, if you jump off a ledge of things, you then drop whatever you've got in your uplift. Yeah, it's not having it now, is it? It's starting to come at different times now. I'm trying to use both thumbs on the right side of the controller to latch onto it for longer. Okay, there we go. Woo! Ah, we got it! <laughs> that was tricky. I'm sure we were supposed to go that side first, get one of these and then jump over here rather than coming this side. I do wonder, will this thing float just with us on it? If we could use this instead. I guess we'll just have to leave the chest. Um... There we go, making a little plane. <laughs> I'm thinking if you made a good enough plane, you could get some height and then get the chest, but... Okay, do you know what? We're going to have to do it from here, aren't we? We need a bit of a run-up. Okay. Here it goes. I don't know if this thing's going to get us there. Turn! Wow, I bet there's some really skilled um, people that have managed to do like loop the loops and then go back and get the chest, but this thing is so sensitive. Going down. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we were never going to get that chest. We still deserve a victory lap though. At least we tried, that's the main thing. You can only try. Okay, this should give us enough though to get a... a finally get another stamina wheel. If we find a shrine, or a statue, sorry. Visitor to the shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Uh, you have done well to reach this place, thank you. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Okay, there we go. Perfect, so we've got four lights now. A light of blessing. Up to four. So now, 
And we can head up to, back to the surface. I forgot we're on the weird sphere thing in the Sky Islands. But now we can head up there and uh, try and get, see, see if we can get into Zora's Domain. Okay. Oh, this thing's moving again. It was in the perfect location. We're still above, oh, we're still above Zora's Domain. Oh. Ooh, what was that? I guess that answers our question. That's where we're going to try and go. <laughs> it's so scary jumping off. Oh, I see a shrine. Okay, let's head to this light thing first, though, I think. Oh, there's another shrine. There's some glyphs. There's so much to look at. <laughs> oh, if we'd have thought about it, we could have tried to get to that sky island. But I'm sure we'll be back up here at some point. Um, what's that? Hopefully we can get to this thing though. Do you know what? I'm going to land over here. And then jump down. We can get there. I was, I was about to say, like, where are we going to jump to? Um, and then... Our questions... Were answered. Okay, let's let's just go for it. I think it's probably a star fragment. Um, and if it is, I uh, they quickly disappear. So There we go. Well, at least we got some rupees. Um, yeah, they don't last too long, though. Oh, we found a cave. Okay, we'll come back to this cave shortly. Let's just go and get this uh, star fragment. And it was a star fragment. I think they're quite rare and quite expensive, so when we see one, we should probably pick it up. Where is everybody? Okay, I'm quite interested to see if we can get back up to that cave that we just saw. Looks like we're going to be doing some shimmying. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, this is a cork though, so it's worth it. This should be the end one. Looks different. There we go. We found a cork. Bye bye. We need as, whoa, need as many as we can get though, so. Right, um, let's head up to the ledge. We're just going to try and get back up to the cliff we were on before we jump down to get the star fragment, just to see what's going on. Whoa, nearly walked into some spikes. Here we go. Is it going to be a discovery? It is a discovery! Ployas Mountain Cave. The Anaru Great Spring. Nice. Sometimes it sounds like Link's getting angry. It's like, huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, are we supposed to just climb? Hmm. Whoa, the rocks are slippery. What 
is in here? Not a lot. Okay, right. We're on a rock at least so we can get our thing back. Can we climb? Oh, what have we got a sticky elixir? What's this? Um, uh, illuminating, it's, oh, it's a glow. I thought we did have a sticky. Um, what's this? This is speed. Oh, there we go, slip resistance. There we go. Let's try. So we're now resistant to the slippery moss. Wow, we definitely need to make more of these. What? Why are we not? Is it just? I guess it's just not. Um. Complete resistance. It's just a little bit. Okay, we're going to have to try and do like a, a backflip or something. Oh no, that was not worth it at all. We're not very slip resistant, are we? Everything's still wet. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe that's not what it's actually for. I thought maybe it means an ice or something. I feel cheated! <laughs> I feel cheated out of slip resistance. Okay, well we made it to a platform at least. Bright-eyed crab, nice. Um, I don't actually know where we're supposed to be going. Are we just going to keep working our way up? Um... We nearly walked off the edge there. What are they? Oh, they're the bright things. Okay. Um. I mean, even if we slip less, I guess it's better than nothing. We just have to take shorter trips. There we go. Um, this is weird. I think we are slipping less, so it... I guess it's okay. Um... So close! No! <laughs> Yeah, we are definitely feeling the pressure of getting more stamina now. Okay, we made it to wherever we're going. Oh, it's like a little shrine or something. Rock salt. Yes, yeah, picking up all the crabs. Uh, we've got some other rocks in here. It looks like there was a chest in the shrine again. Last time we found a place like this, it was a piece of clothing. Oh, right, <laughs> sticky lizard. We 
definitely take all the uh, resources though. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm hoping it's some kind of slip resistant clothing or maybe some swimming clothing. A climber's bandana. It may look like a regular bandana, but actually infused with ancient technology that enhances core strength to improve your climbing ability. Actually, we've got a few climbing things. We've got, um, oh, we we're actually wearing our climbing gear as well. So let's put our climbing bandana on. And that's all we've got, this one, warm. Yeah, we haven't really got any cool trousers. There we go. I don't know if that's actually going to do anything, but... Ah, a bomb flower. I'm glad we found it, though. Glad we persevered. I don't think there's really anything else up here to... This is very strange. I don't feel like the, the slip resistant, all the climbing gear is really benefiting us. <laughs> um. Maybe we'll get all the resources on the way out. Oh, hello. We're doing pretty well finding these uh, bubble gem things. Um, ah, the rupee rabbit got away. Okay, we haven't found any rocks in a while, so let's uh, infuse it. I prefer this one though, one-handed sword. Doesn't look like it's deteriorated either for some reason, or decayed, sorry. Okay, that was well worth going back to the little cave there. Is there anything in there? Is it just some random spikes? I'm wondering if we should try and go up to the shrine we saw first before we go down into the Zora's Domain, or should we just head down? Um, right, where's the Zora's Domain gone? Oh! Oh, it's over here. Rocks falling all over the place. We could do with a rock falling near us, to be honest. Right, so this is where we need to go for the next part of the story. So I'm guessing we should just head that general direction. We'll probably have to be climbing these mountains anyway, so... Zora's Domain. We made it! It's covered in gloop! Desperately need some more arrows, so we'll happily take those. It's weird not having any uh, creatures here. Or Zora, should I say. <laughs> Everyone doing the cleanup. Actually, we're not even. Oh, we are pretty close to where we need to be. I think this is it. Hey! Oh, I'm so sorry everyone has been treated now, but we have used up all the splash fruit. There were more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. You have nothing to apologize for. We did what had to be done. Most importantly, 
Uh, I'm grateful that everyone is all right. Now, if we could do something about that statue. Hmm? Uh, are you a are you traveller? I am sorry that I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zora's domain is in troubling, uh, troubled times that are present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame that this particular statue is so incredibly important to the Zora of the Domain. Hmm. Uh, we are just discussing how, how we need to wash away the sludge. I apologise that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself home here. Um, well, we should be able to help here. There we go. Zora statue! The sludge! It's gone! <laughs> I see you managed to wash it away! The statue is a symbol of hope for the Zora. It's very precious to us. This is why I always tell everyone, collect as many resources as you can, as often as you can, because imagine getting here and then not having a splash flower thing, splash bloom or whatever it's called. And then you have to go and search for one. <laughs> it pays to be thorough. Uh, thank you so much for cleaning it up. Um, in truth, this actually depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved the cherished domain in the past. <coughs> That's uh, right, the blood prince Sidon of the Zora and his uh, very best friend, Sir Link the Heroic Hylian. Swordsman, I think that's us! <coughs> it's simply wonderful, is it not? How would I uh, love to meet him someday? Well, you just did. Say, you have similar stature to the Hylian hero. Similar eyes as well. Oh my, you are also a Hylian! And a swordsman! Hmm, wait, could it be? Ah. Well, you are Link, the swordsman of legend! Uh -huh. huh, please remember to mind your manners, Chroma! Uh. Oh, uh, please accept my apology. How come we haven't aged? I don't get it. Please, uh, please pardon our rudeness. Oh. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link! I have heard m or mention of you nearly every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me. I am your best friend's fiancé. My name is Yona. I'm truly honoured to have the uh, opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. Yona, pleased to meet you. I heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? To think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, now you are travelling the kingdom to investigate. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain? Sure. Sure. <laughs> In that case, feel free to investigate the area around the domain and thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. If you do not mind, I see. Uh, I ask you please go meet with Sidon. I am certain he would be delighted to see you. Sidon could be found near Mipha Court, located at the peak of Polymus Mountain. Oh, so we have got some climbing to do. Oh. Lady Yona, it is time. I fear we must be going now. Hmm. Uh, forgive me, Sir Link, but I must be on my way. No problem. Mm -hmm. Ah, but if it pleases you, after you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me in the infirmary on the floor above. Uh, I am determined to be assistance to you as best I can, Sir Link. Thank you. We appreciate it. The sludge covered statue. Oh, it is a main quest as well. So we're on the right tracks. So now we need to find Sidon of the Zora. Um, is there a shop here? Let's just check out the shop. Oh, there is some stuff here. How much are your arrows? Um, I'll take them all. Highly <laughs> um, and rice. We haven't got any highly and rice, so we'll take one of those. Oh. Uh, we've got some swift violets. What are these? Tomatoes? Yep, got plenty of those. And that's pretty much all there is. Yeah. Link, have you already spoken with Lady Yona? She attempted to repair your... Uh, attempting to repair your Zora armor. You know full well that the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb the waterfall. If you uh, essential, if you hope to travel these parts with ease, Lady Ona is at the infirmary. I suggest you co 
and confer with her at once. Oh, we need to do, we need to find Sidon first though, don't we? Mm -hmm. The document appears to be relatively recent. I must examine older texts if I hope to find information on the Skyland that Prince Sidon is looking for. Oh. Okay, well there we go then. I think that's probably all we need to do from this area. Is the sludge going to hurt us? I think it is, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Go and collect. Oh, the crabs disappeared! <laughs> there we go. This seems like a good point to wrap things up on. We'll just collect this crab. Because we're now going to have to climb a bunch of mountains, go and meet Prince Sidon, come back to the infirmary to meet Yona. Sounds like we can get some Zora armor. And then continue with the story. So I guess this is a perfect place to finish for now. Maybe we'll have a longer episode next time. Uh, but it definitely seems like a good place to finish there. So is there a statue here actually? There should be a statue somewhere. Um, we'll find that in the next episode there's got to be a statue here somewhere that way we can get a new heart container or a new stamina but thank you so much for watching i hope you're enjoying this series some so i apologize that some episodes are longer than others and sometimes there's a more of a story and sometimes just exploring i guess that's just what it uh, how it goes with zelda but i hope you're enjoying it anyway thank you so much for watching and thank you of course to the channel members for making this happen and i'll see you all tomorrow bye